Hello guys and very welcome to my channel. Today it is a beautiful day here in Sweden. It is very windy and the energy prices are really low so everything is just great at the moment at least. So I did a video yesterday when I showed you my module to the Volkswagen ID3 electric car and uh, one guy asked me if I have done any capacity test to this module and I haven't done that. So now I have hooked up a BMS to it and I have also connected to my GrowWatt inverter. Maybe I am not able to discharge it to that level that I want to do but hopefully I can have it down to 3.3 or 3.4 volts per cell at least. And to do that I have hooked up an old radiator to it that will be standing here on the outside. So let's go and take a look at everything. And keep in mind that this setup here is just temporary to do this kind of test. So uh, I, uh, there is a lot that could be done better and uh, of course more robust. But this is just for a few hours that I am going to load my battery and see if we can find out how many kilowatt hour it really holds. This is what the GrowWatt inverter will take when it don't have any load to it. So this pulls this all the time from your battery bank when it is just standing there in standby. So it's a pretty high load there just to do nothing. But it is what it is and we are not going to take a look at that. In this video we are going to take a look at this module here. Right, so let's turn on this element here, or radiator here. So let's start with the fan. And let's see what the fan will pull. So the fan itself will take 80 watts. And Let's see, 750 watts, and yeah, that's pretty much correct, 820 watts is the load that we are pulling right now. And we have 16 amps going through it. And we are loading this GrowWatt inverter with 14%. So let's raise that up. I am going to turn this off and use 1250 instead. So now we are using 23% of the GrowWatt capacity and we are pulling 26 amps out from this battery module. Here is the GrowWatt inverter that I am using for this project. It's a SPF 5000 version. And uh, then you have my BMS down here. It's a Dolly 12S 48 volt 100 amps. You have the numbers there. I am very pleased with those units. And then we have the battery module itself, of course. Then we have my GoPro and a high precision power meter. Well, I don't know about that high precision meter, but it's a power meter anyway. And I mean, this test is a little more just for fun. So you don't have to be too hard on it. And right at the moment, we have 88.8% uh, .8 state of charge and let's take a look at the cell voltages. So pretty nice, only 9 millivolts 
delta there and that's the difference between the highest and the lowest cells we can also take a look at the settings that I have done to this BMS there you have the cell vault high protect 4.2 and the low protect 3.3 and the sum vault high protect 50 volts and so on There you have it. Great. Let's come back in a few hours. And of course we have to test this on max power. Let's go and take a look at the numbers. So we are up to 36.8% of load on the inverter and we are pulling 47 amps out of this module and uh, 2200 watts and uh, <laughs> I mean the cables here are getting hot I am going to switch it back to 1200 watts okay that's a little better so we are back at 23% again and down to 29 amps. <laughs> I just had to test it. This will now go on for a couple of hours and I will uh, do work with my other project. So see you a little later. Shall we take a look at the state of charge? It is a couple of hours later now. And we are now getting really close to 40 volts here. And this inverter will not go lower than 40 volt. It will then turn itself off, sadly. I would like it to go a little lower than that. And here at the power meter we have 40.45 volts, 20 amps. And we're pulling 820 watts at the moment and we have pulled 6.034 kilowatt hour there so uh, that's pretty good let's take a look at the uh, BMS and see what the number says we have a state of charge low level warning level 1 warning and here we have the cell voltages so 3.379 and uh, I would like this to be 3.300 to be perfectly down here to what the specification is set to this battery and we have a delta to 8 millivolts that's absolutely fantastic The grow watt inverter has now turned itself off. So let's take a look at the numbers. 6071 watts is what I was able to pull from this battery. And I have to say that uh, that is actually pretty good. And as you saw there, I couldn't drain it as low as I would like to. So I probably miss one or 200 watt hours there. But maybe I have to do this test again with another inverter. I hope so. And I, of course, let you know when I have done that. So I hope you liked this little redneck capacity test. And uh, I really hope that I see you next time. <laughs> Take care. Have a fantastic day. Bye.